morning, YouTube. Good morning, good morning. We're tired this morning, but I'm doing better now that we're awake. We're in the car. You guys are gonna spend a day in the life with us. This morning was a little bit rushed just because we try to wake up at the last minute. Well, he was up, I guess, but I try and wake up at the last minute, 15 minutes before we had to leave. So it was dark outside though. You guys wouldn't have been able to see us good anyways, so it's fine. But we're headed to our 20 week anatomy scan where they're gonna scan each baby. Hopefully if they cooperate, this will only take, I don't know, like an hour and a half to two hours. But if the boys are feeling crazy this morning, then it's gonna be probably like three hours, one hour per baby. We are going to vlog some. Hopefully I can get, I don't know, I get nervous trying to film in there, but hopefully I can get some footage in there today maybe. And then we are stopping at our friend Sage and Marissa's house, or I guess his studio to work for a little bit. Braxton's gonna get some stuff done for his show. So I brought my laptop and stuff to do some school work. So guys, I'll show you guys that when we get there. I'm gonna show you guys real quick what I packed this morning. I have a little breakfast shake that I'm drinking to start off um, a meal for the day. And I have my lunch box packed here. So since we're gonna be here for a long time, I packed like a water, like a Nutri-Grain bar, um, a protein bar, some tomatoes, I love tomatoes, some oats. These are brand new. I tried a bite of them this morning though and they were so good. They're like protein oats. Oh, they're good. They're dark chocolate. And then some fruit. So I'm gonna drink this little breakfast shake and then I'll probably eat the fruit since we'll be in the hospital for a while. That way it doesn't go bad, but the rest of the stuff doesn't need to be refrigerated, so should be good to go on that. So I'm excited just to take you guys on a day in our life, just because we don't ever, we haven't done that. I haven't done that in a long time on my channel, like way, way pre-pregnancy. And you guys can just kind of see like what we do on a day-to-day -day basis, I guess. It'll be cool for you guys to be in Kansas City with us. We're, we've been driving for like 20 minutes, so we still have about 40 to go. And yeah, our hospital that the babies will be delivered at is an hour away. So that's where we're, we are headed. So I will kind of keep you guys updated when we drive if there's anything going on for sure. breakfast drink all over my hoodie so that was fun I spent forever trying to scrub chocolate out of it and what it's pretty bad pretty bad but uh here we are Kansas City traffic is crazy we hit road traffic um just general traffic I did live in Florida for a while, and I will say Florida traffic is way worse. People in Texas drive crazy, you guys are nuts. But people in Kansas City are pretty crazy too. Not as crazy, but. At least when they're running late to work. Yeah, that's true. We're in like downtown KC right now. We should be there soon.
we are two hours in and just waiting for the tech to look over the stuff with the doctor, see what all we're missing, and then we'll meet with the doctor and they'll let us know kind of what's going on with the babies. I think everything seems to look okay, hopefully, fingers crossed, so we'll just keep praying and I'm kind of hurting a little bit, so hopefully we can get through it. We have a lot of pictures to show you guys. All right, guys, we just left the doctor from our 20-week scan. <laughs> Keisha's a little overwhelmed, but that's okay. So basically this week we just had like the babies fully scanned like their whole body, each one. It was like two and a half hours. They were not cooperating no. and that was not fun. So yeah, we're here now, we're in the car. We've been in here talking like 10 minutes because we got a lot of information today that we didn't really understand and it was just like overwhelming and a lot of big words and hence why Aubrey is crying because she's very emotional and is overwhelmed and a little dramatic but um do you want to tell them the what the doctors found because i don't know what the name is yeah <clears throat> so this is what the doctors found in our anatomy scans today so um baby a and baby c both have what's called choroid plexus cysts on their brains which are relatively like common I guess during pregnancy, I think, I don't really remember what the, like how common they are, but. Do you want to explain what that is? They're basically just like little cyst bubbles. Yeah, it's like, it's like fluid like, that gets trapped yeah. when um, building the. The spine in the brain, it's like cerebral spinal fluid. Yeah. So they have like a little cyst and they said like normally, most of the time, like, I don't know, 90, I think she said like 90% of the time that they go away on their own or. It's not like a big 90. deal. Um, and, but then, baby C, they couldn't like visualize baby C's stomach today, which. He was moving <clears> like <throat> a champ. He's rolling around. <laughs> He's he giving her all trouble. Um, so they couldn't get like a visual um, on the stomach to um, confirm if there were any abnormalities or not. So, like, since they couldn't do that, they had to um, tell us that they couldn't get a visual, which is technically like a soft um the soft, the soft mark or soft yeah. mark and then like the brain finding that they found is another soft mark and so like if you have both of those soft marks it's considered like a chromosome defect which would result in like a stillborn and the baby's not living but they've already seen c stomach before but he was just moving so much today that we couldn't like get a visual to confirm anything um so just because the doctors like saw that they have to tell us that and so she's completely overwhelmed and thinks everything is the world is burning but i believe everything is going to be fine i mean it's the brain stuff is normal to 90 percent of pregnancies with multiples and um they just measured um what what babies were small which ones yeah um so baby B is having growth restriction right now, so he's like not having enough space to grow, which is common. Yeah, with triplets, and I'm assuming like with me being small, um, I just obviously need to probably still. I don't. She needs even, to eat a I'm lot more. Sure, I need to eat more. Like I don't really know, but um, they said like the tenth to the ninetieth percentile is normal for baby growth, and baby B is only at four percent mm -hmm. growth, like. Um, percentile and then baby so, which um, is low before 10 so he's like below yeah he's below and then baby c is at eight per eighth percentile um baby a is the one that's by itself so it's obviously like not sharing nutrients and stuff and it's in the 24th percentile. 24th which is average 10 to 90 is average she so, said it sounds like such a big scale but that like literally it's I mean, yeah so um they're just little. A lot of information today. I wouldn't call it like bad news. I think it's just news that they have to inform us about. Um, but Miss Negative Pessimistic <laughs> over here is expecting the worst. No. Um, but she's carrying the children, so I understand. But yeah, um, otherwise, I think the doctor's visits went well. Um, we just got a lot of information. They have to inform us about that stuff. And so uh, we know now, and we are coming back in two weeks again for another ultrasound, which they'll try to examine all the brains and try to get baby C's um, stomach and see the anatomy of that and see what's going on with that and hopefully we have good news which I'm sure will be good news and then um, 
What was the other thing I was going to say? I don't remember now. Oh, they checked for twin to twin transfusion syndrome again because we're at a risk. And of we're that. doing good. And they looked good for that. Blood and pressure's good. Blood pressure's good for preeclampsia so far. So. Um, yeah, I just, I, it was just an informational visit, I think, just stuff they had to tell us. So, I mean, obviously, they're precautions and um, possibilities, but I'm I'm faith, faithful that we're going to be okay. Yeah, I hope so. And um, it's a little nerve-wracking just getting pulled into a office, not knowing what I'm getting pulled into, but I figured it was bad news, and Aubrey was crying, and it was a lot of words that I didn't understand, but then the doctor, nurse practitioner, um, explained it better, so... Um, and then Aubrey read about it when we got in the car from a verified site, mind you. Um, so yeah, summary of our visit. And now um, I'm gonna try to rally her to get some lunch because she needs to eat to feed my kids. Yeah. And um, we're in KC, so hopefully we can enjoy the rest of the day. Anything else you have to say? Yeah, I'm sure. All right, so that's a summary of the visit. We will be back with more. I'm getting some lunch. We're at Pickleman's down in Westport. Kind of nice to just... A lot of drunken nights here. Yeah, we have spent a lot of drunken nights here, honestly. In these boots. <laughs> With our friends. But it's kind of nice to just sit and chill, eat some good food for the babies. Yeah, I don't know. We're just hanging out, eating some food really quick, and then we're going to go hopefully get some work done. My brain can function. Uh, it's about it. We're not doing too much yeah. other than that, but it's good. Yeah, I guess I'm not really saying I don't know. So we are at our friend Marissa's pop up, and it's tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna vlog some tomorrow. We're here too and make this into like a two day vlog just because I feel like we have enough stuff going on that we can vlog two days in a row and combine it into one video. But yeah, this is a really cute space and I'm excited to see like what she does with it tomorrow. I used to be her personal assistant and now she moved her business to Kansas City with her boyfriend who's also an artist that um, helps Braxton with his stuff. So we're down here doing this and I'll show you guys real quick. So this is what we're starting with. And then she'll be setting all this up tomorrow and I will vlog tomorrow for you guys too and show you guys what we got going on. I'm excited, excited. So we just left Marissa's space for her pop-up tomorrow, which we're gonna be at. So I'll show you guys everything with that tomorrow. And we are currently going somewhere in Kansas City to eat. I don't remember what they said the name was. I wanna get on a scooter. Um, it's like a pizza sandwich place or something. So we're going to do that right now. And I'm tired. I've just been like sitting, relaxing. Oh my gosh, all right. <laughs> um, I think that's about it. Babes, anything? Nothing, you know, I've just been helping Marissa all day. I'm gassed, I'm off a of bean. Anyways, we're still on the go, on the go. So we just ate dinner and we're on the way home now, which is another hour drive, of course. So I'm <laughs> so tired and I think Brax is pretty tired too. You I'm look pretty tired. tired. I've been up since 5.30. So, so I'm dragging up. I'm honestly surprised I'm not as tired as I am, like more tired than I am because I'm up so early today and it's been a long day, but I mean, it was fun. It was cool to just get away. And yeah, I think we needed it after like just the appointment today and like my eyes are all swollen and puffy from crying, but I don't know. Everything's gonna work out. I think like obviously God handpicked us for this and I don't think, you know, it was random, obviously. He picked us for this path, so it will all be okay. The babies will be alright. Just gotta like keep praying for them and keep our heads up. They've been kicking a lot this afternoon, so I think they're trying to tell me that What's up? They're good. <laughs> but, yeah, we're just driving home. Yep. Not much really going on. I'm going to vlog for you guys again tomorrow, too. So, um, there's some more interesting stuff for you to look at than just 
us driving in the car today. Are those flares? He may have flares up. I've never seen that. Yeah. Wow. Cool. Something new every day. Flares. But yeah, I'm ready to take a bath. <laughs> A whole weekend. I same. did something nice with myself today. I don't look so <laughs> so bad. No, you're fine. You want to be on camera? You're on YouTube. Yay! All our friends today. <laughs> we're just hanging out at the pop up today, and then I think we're getting some food in a little bit, and then I don't know after the pop up probably dinner and stuff. So just hanging out. I'll update you guys if we do anything fun. But right now we're just chilling, supporting our friends. So say bye. Bye. So we just got home from the day <laughs> and this weekend, I guess, and it's been, I don't know, it was nice to just like relax and do stuff with Braxton for sure. And now we're just like winding down. I just took a shower and I'm getting ready for bed now. So it's just going to show you guys a couple of things really quick since I'm settling down for the day. If you guys watched my bump date video, I already know that I talked to you guys about these in them, but I'm going to do some journaling before bed. I have two different ones and I'm going to ask Braxton if he wants to meditate before bed. We usually like meditate and he just falls asleep, but I usually stay up and like stay through the meditation and then I'll go to sleep after so I think I'm gonna maybe try to do just like a guided sleep meditation because I really like doing those and then I'm gonna write in my books do my little journaling activities before bed because it helps me sleep better and I don't know it just obviously is good for like stress as well I was gonna show you guys really quick the medications that I take on a nightly basis I think I've already kind of told you guys people like constantly ask so I take two low-dose baby aspirin a day. They're chewable, so those aren't too bad at all, but I take those to help prevent preeclampsia, which usually starts at 20 weeks. So I also check my blood pressure twice a day, but it's always relatively low, so I haven't had to worry about it yet. I take Unisom to kind of help with nausea and morning sickness, which I don't think it really matters now, but it also just helps me sleep better since I'm starting to get pretty uncomfortable sleeping. And then I take folic acid. My doctor told me to take a certain amount, so since my prenatal didn't have enough folic acid since I have three babies, this was to help prevent like developmental issues and stuff, so I still take that every single night. I take three of those. And then I take my one prenatal every night. And then I take three magnesium a night, which is supposed to help with headaches and like cramps and all sorts of stuff, body aches and whatever else. So I end up taking, let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, eight medications and then my two like chewable tablets per night. And it's lots of fun because then I get to get up and pee 20 times in the middle of the night. And then I was going to show you guys what I've been using for my stretch mark creams. Just because I have yet to have a single stretch mark, which fingers crossed it stays that way. But we're 21 weeks today, so I am excited to be able to do these and not have stretch marks so far. So hopefully they just keep working. But I've been using this bio oil and I use that after every time that I get out of the bath or shower. So I use it once a day and it goes fast. I've only had it for like a couple weeks and it like it goes pretty fast, but it's definitely worth it It smells really good and it keeps me like I don't know super soft and ready to roll and then I've been doing cocoa butter I'm gonna up this to twice a day because I feel like I need to but mostly I do this right before bed And then I do it if like I'm super itchy or something during the day and then I've been trying to put this on This is just Palmer stretch mark cream. I've been doing this once a day, too I usually like do it if I start getting itchy or something I'll use either this one or the Palmer Palmer's cocoa butter, but the cocoa butter sets into like my stomach a lot better and lasts for a lot longer So I tend to try and use that more now. Anyways, I use all three of those and so far they seem to be working So hopefully it stays that way But yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys and we're gonna settle down and get some sleep And I hope that you guys have a good rest of your week since this video is dropping on a Tuesday I hope that you guys have a good one and we will see you guys in our next video Braxton, do you want to say bye? Now, I'll see y'all later, okay? I'm looking a little scruffy. It's been a long day. Peace, love, and happiness. Alright. Got a blast! Bye, guys. <laughs> Night.